We're back with more right here on Pittsburgh CW. Let's go back to the phone lines. We got Pete and Squirrel Hill. Pete, you have five seconds. Go ahead. Five, four, three. Five, five seconds. You're <laughs> killing me, my man. I know. Go ahead. I'm just kidding. Hey, Bob, about the Brandon Tanner hit tonight. There's no way in the world, Bob, there was any intent. It was not a dirty play. But the evolution of the game and the way they officiate it, player safety is at the forefront. Mm. So now they look at those hits, Bob, and whether they were necessary or unnecessary. The puck was off his stick probably about four or five seconds. No, no, no. And they reviewed it. That's what they looked at. It was unnecessary. It was not four or five seconds. I didn't try to hurt anybody. Right. The fact that he did get injured to some degree, that was the call. Thank you very much. All right, Pete. But what I'm saying is that wasn't the case. He had just gotten rid of He was off balance. And, Andrew, I think he, because he was off balance, the hit just put him in an awkward situation. Yeah, and now I'm seeing Mike uh, Sullivan said that Bluger's out longer term, Bob. Yes. I mean, that to me, you want to talk about an under-the-radar guy for the Penguins. You know, he's somebody that could be, you know, that Nick Benino type player that they've been searching for since he left town. And so, if that's it, if, I mean, their forwards are dropping like flies, and I don't – I heard Mark Bergevin, the GM of the Canadiens, the former Penguin player, say today that – he doesn't expect many trades to get made in the next month, Bob. Hmm. That would be interesting. And another thing is, you know, with Tanev out and Bluger out on that five-minute major for Boston, they did a great job of killing that whole thing off. I thought that may have they been did. a turning point the other way. And at the end, I don't know if you saw, you know, Bergeron, or not Bergeron, it was Marshawn who missed a wide-open net. I mean, he was thought for sure it was going to go in. When he didn't, I thought the Penguins was going to tie the game. Did you? It was crazy. Uh, it seemed that, you know, they had so many opportunities and they kept screwing it up where that was a distinct possibility. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I've come around on, on Marshawn a little bit, Bob. Now that he's not licking people's faces, <laughs> I like At him a little bit more a player. At least not during the pandemic, yes. All right, that's going to do it for us, Andrew. Thanks, as always, and good work by your radio station on Feed to Need. Congratulations, and thank you for thank supporting you. it out there. Good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.